In this video we'll look at how to add dynamic lightboxes inside repeaters, to display data from a custom post type. We have a team member custom post type. Each team member has a name, an image, and some extra information. We'll turn this basic layout into a dynamic list with the name of each team member and a button to view more details. We'll make this section the repeater provider, to query our custom post type. In the advanced tab, we can enable the repeater provider and set up the query. We'll make this container the consumer. Now we have a repeated container for each single team member. We'll use the dynamic data options to populate this heading with the post title. This gives us our team member's name. The button will be used to open up the lightbox. We'll give the buttons a class, so they can be used as a click trigger. Let's add a dynamic lightbox. We can show and hide the lightbox while inside the builder. We'll be adding inline elements into the lightbox. For the click selector, we can use our trigger class. We can change the shape and size from the general options. Let's add some elements. As we're inside the repeater consumer, we can use the dynamic data options to populate the contents of the lightbox. The featured image of each post gives us our team member profile picture. The text color is inherited from the page, let's change that. We can add our custom field data. Here's our team member fields. The name is the post title. We can tell the lightbox that we're inside of a repeater. We just need the ID of the repeater consumer. This team member container is our repeater consumer. Inside the advanced tab is the element unique ID for us to copy. We'll move the element so it doesn't interfere with the flex layout.
Now clicking each button will open up a light box. We can style all parts of the light box, including the backdrop. Now we have our dynamic light box. 